Hey guys, so I just watched Cacti Mania video about mealybugs all over the plants just creeping and crawling and I was looking at this one and it's had this stuff on here forever and I just kept ignoring it and you know what? There's mealybugs all over. Look, I sprayed it with rubbing alcohol and look, there it's covered in mealy bugs. And I am going to take everything out of here and clean it. Oh, so Cacti Mania, I feel your pain. This is bogus crap here. Look, here's a good shot of, let's see, maybe. Can't get it up high enough. Right here, look at that leaf covered in stupid mealy bugs. See, I knew it was there, but I, and look, the damage it's done. Ah. So I'm gonna pull everything out. I pulled out two of the smaller plants. I'm gonna pull everything out, clean it, wash it. And then I'll check all my other plants that were near it and make sure they haven't spread but look, these guys are so pretty. And I'm worried about taking this one out, Gibby Flora, because her leaves, I've already broken one. I think it's this one. I broke this one off already. And I, she's just looking so pretty. But I think she's got some stuff on her too. So anyway, this is crap. This, this is crap. So I gotta pull everything out and wash it with soapy water and hope it survives. I know it's gonna ruin the look of this, but hopefully she'll still be okay eventually. So wish me luck. Okay, you can see, so I pulled everything out. Look. See those bugs? Listen to my kids arguing. Look at this. It's just, uh, I can't really pick up in the video, but they're just covered. All these leaves are covered in bugs. try and save these but part of me wants to just throw these ones away because I think these are the culprits I mean this is just covered here if you look on the back of all the leaves I wish I could get a video of it, a picture but they're just covered in them all of them. So these ones look okay. I'm hoping I can just wash these up and they will be okay. And I am going to dump this in a bag. This plastic bag I got it on and uh, hopefully eradicate it. I don't know. I've got to still check more of my plants. <coughs> Okay, so this planter was next to it, and on this thing, I thought it was just um, crap, but they're actually little, it's not gonna focus it, little white flies. I thought it was just dust or dirt or whatever flying in through the screen of the window. So there's that. And then as I was looking at this one, under here, I see a root rot, or some rot. And I pulled off the leaves. And this is what's happening here. So they've got a little bit of rot on the leaves. And 
I'm not sure. Ugh. This is a disaster. I mean, not a disaster, but this is annoying. So I don't know what I need to do. If I just need to trim this and re-root it. Actually, you know what? That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut this and uh, get it to root for me again. This one, so if you can see all these white things on here, I don't know if it's just dust coming in the windows. Like I said, we've had the windows open um, and I don't know if it's just dust blowing in or if it's those white flies like leaving crap on there. So I guess uh, what I need to do is just pull it out and wash it. I'll wash this first let it dry off and then I will cut the roots off um, then this again was covered in the light stuff too and again I don't know if it's the flies or if it's just dust with coming in through the screen this one looks okay I don't see anything on here I've looked like underneath there doesn't seem to be anything and then the aloe looks okay so I'm still debating on whether or not I should pull everything out, but um, we'll see. So I've got these two pots washed and the, the plants are in here, except I moved the euphorbias and they're um, over there and there's my kids. So I have them over here drying by themselves. Just wanted to show you the roots on this aloe I had potted up. Look at them. They're so long all over the place. They have it. There's some rotted ones in here. So I'm going to clip those out. And I think I'm going to just trim off the bottoms a little bit. And then we'll let them callus over. Um, and that should be okay. And then look inside the pot where the roots were that has left this line. So they, it was really overgrown. I feel really bad about that. Um, as for these guys, I don't see any bugs on them. I think they're okay. I just rinsed them off really well. I am gonna trim these two. This one does have um, a few signs of rot on it. So the one area I can see right here and just a little bit, just around the stem a little bit. Not not terrible, but enough that I'm gonna trim it down. The only problem is it means it's gonna be really small plant when I'm done with it. I mean, look how big this is now. It's gonna be tiny when I'm done. So these are the ones I ended up repotting together. I did these ones in here. This one, I'm not sure if I damaged it when I was cleaning it because she's got a little bit of some black spots inside. Hopefully, I'm hoping she'll grow out of it. This one I cleaned off. I just washed everything. Um, cleaned the roots, everything really well. And then this one I had beheaded. So I did this all Saturday and today is Thursday. So it's been five days. So I just beheaded that and it looks like almost that it's starting to root for me again. So that's good. And these guys don't look very good. They were so pretty and they just look really sad. But um, hopefully they'll pull through. This lady did okay through the washing and the aloe. So I kind of switched out the euphorbia for this one instead. And then this was also one that was covered in mealybugs. So I had washed this one about two weeks ago. I found mealybugs on this one. It was by itself, it wasn't potted. Anyways, I washed it and then I potted this up a little bit different in this one. So my string of pearls and my Provolone Nuremberg and my aloe, a little chunk of the aloe from here. 
and um, and then the euphorbia is still in here. I don't, I don't know if I want to plant it or not. I may plant it by itself. These leaves all just dried up. Well, I mean, it's been five days and I haven't done anything with them. So, as you can see, they just have their roots hanging out. So, we'll see. I, I may end up potting them by themselves and see what happens with them. But, I mean, these just pop right off because they're so dry. Anyway, so that's what happened. Mealybug infestation driving me crazy. So hopefully everybody will survive. And this one's got a bud, so hopefully it'll be blooming soon. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you to all the new subscribers and all those who are returning subscribers coming back. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this, and go check your plants, okay? Have a wonderful week.